fans, do you want to win your share of $100,000? Simply enter the houseofboxing.com fight night prediction challenge. Compete with boxing fans around the world. Simply head over to houseofboxing.com and sign up now. This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store and William Hill. Delighted to be joined with Hamza Shiraz. We're here for the press conference. You said you're taking on Liam Williams. Um, a massive step up for you, a big fight for you. Uh, first time main event. Other than that, how's things, mate? How are you feeling? Yeah, no, all good. All good. Um, everything's going well. Can't complain. Flew in from LA yesterday, uh, going back tonight. And can't complain. Looking forward to it. Should be a good one for sure. I know I do ask you every time, but how's LA been uh, the first uh, sort of couple couple of weeks uh, starting camp there? You know, it's been good. It's been good. The good thing is I've not had much of a layoff since my last fight. I thought I did have about a month off, um, and I was still keeping fit and, and whatnot, and still going through the motions and whatnot. So I'm kind of ahead of where I normally would be in camp. So, and for this one, it's a bit different. Uh, main event in uh, first time main event in. How does that feel, and how do you approach that differently? Um, it's different for sure, but at the same time, you've got to remember, it's, you can't let it get to your head. You can't let it get to your head. It's one of them, it's one of them ones where you just got to take everything in your stride, go about your business professionally, do what I do best, and um, hopefully put on a good performance come December the 2nd. Have you ever found that difficult trying to stay grounded? Because as you get, you know, have more fights, uh, the more titles, how everything, the, the profile goes up and up. Has it been, have you sometimes struggled to, you know, um, keep grounded in a way? Uh, no, never, never. You know what it is? I always keep remind myself that you're always one punch away from being knocked out. So you can never... I mean, every, every fight is different. Some people try to adopt that Floyd Mayweather mentality and personality. But he was, he's a one in a million. You can't all be like him. And I've just... I've, all, I've been brought up with manners and respect anyway. So um, no matter who I step in the ring with, if there's natural needle there, there's natural needle there. But more or less, I always, always respect them at the end of the day. Is it also good to have the confidence, as I said, like confidence in your own abilities, confidence that, you know, believing yourself that, you know, you might think that Liam Williams ain't even on my level? Uh, no, it's, it's, I wouldn't say that because I've got to prove it on December the 2nd. So I could sit here and de say he ain't on my level and whatnot. But at the end of the day, if we look at it, he's achieved more than me in the sport thus far. So it's one of them ones where I can't really talk too much rubbish or not. I have to go in there and just prove that I have got what it takes to, to get to the top in the sport of boxing. With it being a main event, is the pressure for you and is the motivation different in the gym? You know, when you think about before you might have been a chief support or on the undercard, now when you're on a main event, you think when you're training that everyone's really coming out, you're the main attraction. So is there, different, different, has there been a difference in, in motivation in training or pressures? Uh, no, I go about my thing the same way. Uh, like I said, you can't let it get to you or think about it too much. That's how I go about it anyway. Um, but I mean, when, when, it, when it comes to fight week, I'm sure the lights, the camera and, and the action will, not, will, be complete, will be more intense than it ever has been before. So I'm kind of just, like I said, take everything in my stride, enjoy it and hopefully get used to it. Do you look at it as like a box tick, you know, like parts of your career? I'm sure you have ambitions and the main event is another one ticked off. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. Um, it's all well and good to be a main event against someone who don't really know. You could bring in a foreigner and and your main event, but it's not quite main event when you when there's two names um, who everyone knows, domestically who everyone knows. It kind of gives you that, gives the whole element of the fight a lot more excitement and, a, and that more kind of bums on seats vibe to the fight. We'll get into the fight now. Um, Liam Williams, he's been tried to test at a very, very good level. Liam, you know, Liam Smith, Chris Eubank Jr. How much does this excite you that you're, you're, fighting, you're fighting someone like Liam Williams who you know you can bring it? No, of course it's... It, kind of, it gives me that extra, not motivation, but that extra concentration you need in camp. So when you're in camp, you've got to be switched on at all times, no matter what you're doing, um, to stay switched on and, and, and just stay on it. Because against someone like Liam, you can't afford to, to have a round off or to have even a split second off because you'll get caught and you can punch and before you know it, you'll be out. So it's one of them where I have to stay switched on completely. And I've also got, like, because it's main event, I've got a make sure I go out there and, and put on a good performance and don't stick the place up. What Liam Williams do you feel like you're going to get? I know you will say that you're preparing for the Liam Williams, but is it you know, hard to not ignore the fights against Chris Eubank Jr. and Andrade and the previous fights that he's had? Uh, what was that? But is it hard not to ignore the fights with Eubank Jr. and Andrade and things like that? Uh, you know what, the thing is, I'm completely different to them, height-wise, build-wise, the way I fight. So 
I can't take too much from it. I can't take too much from it. Styles make fight, uh, makes fights, and that's what the great thing about boxing is. That's what the great thing about this fight is. If we're both punchers, both like to mix it. It's not one of them ones where I'll just box for 12 rounds and get the unanimous win and be happy with it. You want to go out there and really, really go out there to make a statement. And if I do, inshallah, knock, knock him out, it's, it's, it's a big statement for sure. Like you, you could, then you can go back and say Eubank Jr. couldn't do it, Andrade couldn't do it, Amza Shiro has done it. I was going to say that, when you look at the reward potentially of if you do stop someone like Liam Williams, yeah. the credit and the stock of your name, knowing that you've done something that Eubank Jr. and Andrade couldn't do, it, 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 you know, ride massively off that. No, exactly, exactly. It goes. It just adds that more credit to, to, to my to my resume, and it kind of catapult, catapults me to that world level of, of boxing. Yeah. Do you, whilst people have known what you're about, they know how good you are. Do you feel like this could be like a, a real, real statement, like a coming out party for you in a way where you get past someone like Liam Williams? Of course, yeah, for sure. Um, but it's just about actually doing it. You know what I mean? So if I go in there put on a good performance and it's like okay cool Hamza Shiraz is, is a name he's not one of them names who's a maybe like I said he's, he's, he's you could some would say proven some would say yet to still be proven but I think after this fight it should cement, cement that kind of name in, in the division and I know you won't think too much into things like this but is it is there a bit of you know excitement in the way maybe not excitement but a feeling that there might be people you know, really backing against you for this fight is that, a, is that an exciting feeling where you the, the doubts are going to increase even more you know it's after my um, Bradley Skeet fight it was nothing but doubters nothing but doubters so I'm used to it I'm used to it and it's kind of I like proving people wrong I like pro proving people wrong and I've been doing that so I'm kind of getting used to it you know, you know it's, it's, all, it's almost the opposite. Normally, people are like they're proving people right for hyping a fighter up, but mine was like, oh, he ain't gonna get nowhere after that skeet fight. He can't even do this. He can't do that. I've been doing it. <laughs> I've been doing it. It's a simple words. And and are you expecting much needle at this press conference? Needle in fight? Well, you know, Liam can be a quite a fiery individual. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. It should be uh, exciting for sure. Um, and I'll just take it in my stride, man. I think I'm not one of them fighters who can, even if I wanted to, if I got up there and started trying to talk shit, it'd look odd. It'd look it'd like, you know, it just don't suit some people. So I won't force it for sure, but I'm definitely going to be enjoying it. One thing not really related to your fight, um, this weekend we do see a massive fight. And we know you've dabbled in the world of influencers, you and Justin Bieber, but we do see KSI taking on Tommy Fury. Um, what do you really feel about that? And how do you think it's going to go? It's, um, I see Tommy Fury winning it, no problem. No problem, but... It's just all about money at the end of the day, isn't it? They're getting. He's. If I listen, if any boxer was him, they'd do the same thing. Let's not beat around the bush. You do the same thing. You're getting paid like 10, 20 million to to fight these YouTubers who have never fought before, in front of sold out arenas, with crazy media coverage. So, you'd be a fool not to do what they're doing. You know what I mean? So, hats off to him, man. Credit, credit to Tommy Fury. 100% Hamza, thank you for taking time to speak to me and uh, all the best for this press conference on 2nd of December. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Top man. Thank you.